All right, so welcome back. Uh, once again, my name is Rene Escamilla, and I will try to explain a few topics that we have pending yesterday, right? So, but before, let me explain some information related to the uh, commands that we need to follow. All right, so remember that we need to complete our platform exercises. All right, so, and uh, no matter if you complete them before we finish our course, doesn't matter. So you can complete them. Okay, usted los puede completar, no hay ningún problema. All right, so, como le estaba repitiendo, le estaba mencionando, como el buen salvadoreño, siempre dejamos todo para las últimas, ¿verdad? Ahí andamos corriendo, como que somos, y esto nos pasa a todos. All right, no se preocupe, que también le pasa al teacher, ¿verdad? Somos, somos salvadoreños, no sé qué pasa, pero algo, algo tenemos en común. Entonces, yo le sugiero de que lo termine antes, ¿verdad? Porque de ahí usted tiene un backup para hablar con los coordinadores, right? So, usted tiene un backup y decirle, hey, look, I already finished, all right? So, okay, le van a decir, show me, show me the proofs, let me see, let me see them, all right? Pero si no tiene nada, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, no sé, no estoy muy seguro, pero siempre los coordinadores, creo que Paola siempre pone un deadline. Sí sabe que es un deadline, right? Un deadline es como una, una fecha específica, ¿verdad? Que de ahí hasta fecha ahí llegamos. Limite, perdón. Al límite, hasta ahí es la palabra, hasta límite, ¿verdad? Entonces, quiero que nos, nos demos esa tarea, por favor. Y gracias por los que están a la hora. And remember, cameras, cameras needs to be on. Remember, assistance will be taken, you know, by the, uh, by the system when you have the cameras on. If you don't have the cameras on, ustedes pues también ese es otro, otro, otro factor que sucede, ¿verdad? Que estamos hablándole a los coordinadores, diciéndole, hey, yo estoy, todas las clases estuve con, con, Mr., con Mr. Escamilla y... No sé por qué me aparece este porcentaje. Sí, porque solo, solo espera que le pasen a uh, lista. O, o la verdad que solo se conecta y como que se va a dormir. Porque yo le, le estoy a preguntar y preguntar y no me contestan. Pero aquí no hay ni uno, ¿verdad? Ni uno. Eso es ante los grupos anteriores, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. All right. First to the first, we are going to pass to our motivation part. Let me see. Let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. My kiddos, give me one second. Let's see. All right. Are you able to see what I'm checking right now? Yes? Yes. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Give me one second. I'm in here. All right. So um, everybody likes to work, right? Everybody loves to work because if we don't work, we don't have bonus, right? Christmas bonus, el mentado aguilucho que le llaman, el mentado aguinaldo, ¿verdad? If we don't work hard, we won't get our Christmas bonus, right? So, however, in this case, it's kind of kind of similar, but no, I'm not going to be talking about Christmas, Christmas bonus, no. I'm going to talk about that you need to work for your dreams. You need to work hard. What does that mean? Being here at least one hour, you are working hard. Because you want to learn how to speak English, right? So now let's repeat. Let's repeat motivation. Motivation. Come on. Let's go, everybody. Motivation. motivation. Yes. Motivation. motivation. Very good. Motivation. Today motivation. we are like this, right? This is the, the hump of our week. ¿Qué quiere decir hump? La joroba, ¿verdad? La de la semana. Uh -huh. Estamos así, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right. So we need to be happy, you know? Christmas Christmas is uh, is coming, and for some of you are you know Christmas, you know it's not you know it's not a big deal. In my case, it's not a big deal. You know, it's I'm mean, I'm a Grinch a little bit, right? I'm a Grinch, but I don't. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's Christmas. It's another day, another opportunity. But for some of you, Christmas is something beautiful, something that you that you uh this I mean that you are waiting for. All right. So, anyways. Christmas for another another class. So now let me read this for you and repeat that after me. Work hard, dream big. I'm, I'm sorry. Work hard, dream big, never give up. One more time. Work hard, dream big. Work hard, dream hard, dream never give up. Never give never up. Big up. All right. never, never, never give up. Never give never up. Give never, up. Give up. Never, never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Give up, no, no get up. Give up. 
give up. up. Give up. Never, never give up. up. Excellent. Excellent. All right. All right. Very good. Okay. One more time. Work hard. Dream big. Never give up. Come on. Let's go. Work hard. Work hard. hard. Dream, big, dream big, big, big. Never give up. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. You know what? This motivation needs to be all the time in your mind and your heart because without motivation, you won't be able to learn the things that you want to learn tonight. I mean, tonight and the next days with the different teachers that you might have in the future, right? So not only with me. Anyways, all right. So, ¿qué dice? Trabajar duro, soñar grande y nunca rendirse. All right. Never give up. Never, never. Ah, pero que yo estoy, yo, yo tengo miedo. Ah, yo ya tengo, ya me duele la espalda. No, 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 no. Never give up. Remember, work hard. Dream big. Work hard. Dream big. Dream big. Dream big. Never give up. All right, so. Never, never give, up. give up. Y le voy a dar un consejo, le voy a dar un consejo motivacional. Usted tiene que aprender a pedir, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Si usted pide, ay, quiero solo aprender lo básico, solo lo básico le va a dar Dios, ¿verdad? A veces pedimos, ah, yo quiero un carrito, le dice. Ah, y le mando un carrito de, de juguete, ¿verdad? No, aprenda a pedir. Pida algo bueno, ¿verdad? Entonces, you need to, pero primero tiene que trabajar. Acuérdese que Dios no da, no da riqueza. Él da instrucción, ¿verdad? No vengo a predicar, ¿verdad? Pero I'm just letting you know why you need to ask for. All right, we need to know how to ask. And you need to know that you need to work first. If you want to get something uh, as a as a reward, you need to work hard, but first you need to dream big, right? All right. So if you are dreaming big, so what did that means for you, ja Joao? If you dream big, what would be your dream? But why your dream is big? Uh, travel the world. Mm -hmm. Related to the to the I mean to the English matters, right? Relacionado a, a, a los a los puntos de inglés. Why you dream is big, Joao. Tell me. Um, I don't know, teacher. Sorry. Because let me give you uh, some answers, right? Some options. Well, my dream is big because I'm oh, not gonna, I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm not gonna be learning only English because after English, I'm going to learn to speak French. I'm going to learn to speak Italian, all right? That's the reason oh. my, my dream is big. Now you have ideas, yes? All right, very good, very good. Como, como, como digo, como, como lo puedo decir, uno de mis grandes sueños. One of my, one of my uh, biggest uh, dreams. One of, my, one, of my, one, of my, one of my biggest uh, dreams. One, one of, of my, my biggest, biggest dreams. Biggest dreams. Uno de mis biggest. grandes sueños. Sí, biggest. Ah. Así como la hamburguesa. Biggest. Okay. Uh, my, one, of my, my one of my biggest my, dreams. One of my biggest dreams is uh, walking uh, Italia. Mm. Walk Italia. Okay. I would like to work. Yeah. I would like to o travel to Italia. Mm -hmm. Other um, uh, uh, crucero. Cruise. Mm -hmm. Un or crucero ship. por Europa. All right. O Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Excellent. Sorry. Right, right. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right, let's see. Let me ask somebody else. All right, let's see. Uh, Orquidia Escobar. Good evening, uh, young lady. Tell me why your dream is big. No sé que lo que, cuál es su sueño, pero me imagino que tiene un sueño. Hay tener muchos sueños grandes. Tell me why your dream is big. Oh, good evening, teacher. Uh, my dream or my big dream is is um, to speak english fluently because um i'm going to live in united states mm -hmm. and i need to talk english okay fluently. Barbara. yeah but you speak good english you, you you speak good english very nice very nice excellent gabriel what would be your big dream what is your big dream tell me My big dream is, uh, the first is to speak English uh, very good. So very, um, the second is, uh, I go to, uh, I will travel to Canada um, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I, I live, live in Canada. All right, very good. Remember, guys, remember the reason that we that we have that we that we are talking or or that we are having a conversation right now is because I want you to you guys apply or add the information that you already know. For example, our classmate Gabriel Dijo <coughs> light travel to Canada. <coughs> ¿Cuál hubiera sido lo más recomendable que él hubiera dicho en ese caso? Aplicando lo que ya sabemos, díganme ustedes. Si usted quiere viajar a un país, o sea, porque ese es uno de sus sueños, ¿qué le, qué, qué, ¿cómo me lo hubiera esterilizado? Buenas noches, teacher, comentarle, Jessica Meléndez, que estoy en el hospital con mi hijo. Ok, no se preocupe, Jessica. Copy. Buenas noches, estaré con mañana. Ok, Abimael, ok. I will. I would like to show. I will. I, I will like. No, I will. Like. I would like to travel. I would like to travel. Yes. Me gustaría. Acuérdense de eso. I would like to travel to Italy. I would like to travel to Canada because there are many opportunities over there. All right. Ah, pero usted porque ya lo sabe. Sí, pero yo sabe. Ahorita estamos aprendiendo también. Estamos agarrando un poco de cada cosa, ¿verdad? Very good, very good. El último. Iris, Vanessa, tell me why your dream is big. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my English dream is a uh, learn English and find a better job. Find a better job. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, and what we need to do in order to complete those dreams, those goals, never, never give up. Never give up, right? Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Very good, very good. Joao, tell me. Podría hacer este uno, ya traduciéndolo. I would like to go to to New Italy, Paris, in Praga. I would like to go to Italy. What? I, I I would like it to go to now, Italy, Paris, and Praga. Yeah, I would like to go to Italy, Paris, and, and, Praga, and Praga. Yes, I would like to go to Paris, Italy, and Praga. Yes, very thank good. You. Yes, of course. All right, thank you so much. All right, remember that we are doing this because I just want to make sure that you guys are practicing and using the information that that we already know. Right. So tonight. We're going to double check some information from last class. What was the last topic that we checked last class, guys? Anybody anybody can tell me that? Any volunteer or any victim? What was the last topic, uh, Amalia? Jose Heriberto, tell me. Neither and neither. Neither and either, right? Yeah. Yes, Jose, dígame. No. Jose Heriberto, levantó la manita? No. Bah, okay. Yes, teacher. Tell me. Es, es leer eh, lo que está en pantalla. Oh. oh, no, que me levantó la manita y yo por ahí le pregunté que si tenía alguna pregunta. Pero igual. Uh, no, no, teacher, no, teacher. Léame esto, ya, ya que se, se, se eligió ahí de voluntario, démele. démele ok, démele. <laughs> ok, thank you. In this class, participants will practice pronunciation, eh, not in eh, stress, in response they will also learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Excellent. Let me read it for you guys, okay? In this class, participants will practice pronunciation, noticing the stress and responses. They will, al they will also learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either, ¿ok? ¿Qué quiere decir estrés? Tal vez se le vino a la mente a usted, el estrés es así como que, ay, estoy estresado, no. En la gramática, en, when we use grammar point, estrés es como que fuera el, el, acento. el acento que usted le pone a la, a la palabra, ¿verdad? Acuérdese de que si usted me dice, in this class, participant, no, participants, will practice pronunciation, noticing stress responses, they will also learn 
to sound natural. Entonces, ahí donde ustedes se da cuenta que sube y baja el stress, right? Ese es el acento. Obviamente que en inglés no se pone acento como nosotros lo hacemos con tilde, ¿verdad? O a post, no, ya tilde, ajá, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Donde dice, they will also learn to sound natural when responding with some to neither and either. En esta clase, los participantes practicarán pronunciación poniendo atención a la fuerza. También aprenderán a sonar naturales cuando respondan con también y tampoco. All right, so, y el de ahora, ese ya lo vimos anteriormente, pero está en el programa y hay que, hay que verificarlo, ¿verdad? Nuevamente, hay que revisarlo nuevamente, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, uh, José Herminio, please, ayúdeme con, la, con, la, con esto, con este objetivo. In this session, a conversation will be played where or wider and a customer use modal verb such as war and will for request. Excellent. This in this session, a conversation will be uh, will be played where a waiter and customer use model verbs such as a will and will for request. Okay, so ya prácticamente ya ya sabemos cómo se maneja el will y el will. Ya se lo expliqué. Remember? Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Give me one second. Let me double check. Vamos a pasar acá a. Vamos a ver, lo que vimos. Uh, dígame si puede ver lo que yo estoy observando en este momento. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. All right. We're going we're, we're to review this video again, all right? So let's pay okay. attention, okay? Hi. Did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you where to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we we'll walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast <clears throat> food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither 
plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice, neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French. All right, are we clear with that one? Are we clear with this examples that we just checked, guys? So far, so good, okay. right? Yes. Um, yo tenía entendido que eso era como entonces. Es que sí lo puede utilizar, es como... Vaya, hay un... Le voy a dar un como un paréntesis. Thank you for the uh, intervention, um, Miss Plites. Ok. Se ha fijado que a veces hasta los eh, nativos cometen errores y eso lo, lo agarramos nosotros también, ¿verdad? Le explicaba yo la vez pasada que nosotros tenemos unos modismos, unos, no sé si adagios, si se le puede llamar así, como el que aquí el presente a veces les dice, ¿verdad? Y que quiero evitar lo que les digo de, de vez en cuando, les digo dendioy, ¿verdad? Y eso no existe. Sabía que no existe, ¿verdad? Dendioy no existe, existe hace un momento. Hace un momento les expliqué este tema. No le voy a decir de hoy. Entonces, tocando su tema, mi estimada Rosie, Rose, cuando usted dice so, por ejemplo, si usted, si usted me dice eh, me, hace, me hace sentir a mí como que a mí, a mí me gusta algo o, o, o yo me la quiero llevar de campeón, yo le digo so, so what, y qué. O sea, yo le digo, usted me dice, eh, profesor, este, Mr. Escamilla, usted tiene tres carros, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, so, so what? Así como que sí y qué. Ahí lo puede aplicar de esa manera, si ¿sí me explico. Pero hay un, hay un modismo que todo lo ocupamos, yo creo que ustedes ya lo han dicho, que le voy a decir que es un error. Y así lo dicen hasta en películas y es un error. Que los, lo, la gente de, de, de habla inglés, o sea, de los nativos, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Los native speakers dicen so so. Se ha fijado que dice, hey, how are you? How you, how, how you doing? So so. ¿Sabe qué está diciendo usted ahí? I, I. I, I. Pero ellos han optado ese so so, es como que, eh, ajá, más o menos, como que usted dijera so far so good. ¿Me entiende? So far so good, pero eso no existe. No existe. O sea, entonces yo se lo estoy dando como un tip para que lo tenga en mente y un día usted lo puede analizar, ¿verdad? Y va a decir, ah, tenía razón el teacher, ¿verdad? Entonces se lo digo porque yo, a mí me lo dijeron también y yo lo decía antes. La mejor manera de decir, tocando ese tema de Rose, si yo le pregunto, hey, how are you? And, is, instead of said, so, so, mejor, que, mejor decir, so far so good. ¿Y qué quiere decir? Hasta ahorita más o, más, más o menos. Así más o menos. So far so good. Se oye más, eh, más nativo, ¿verdad? Ok, pasamos a lo siguiente. Y, y, ahí, y ahí les voy a tocar, eh, les voy a ver si les doy unos tips de eso del so, ¿ok? Pero gracias por su intervención, mi estimada Rose. Ok, let's go. I'm not crazy about French food. Dice, write responses to show agreement with the statements. Do not use periods, uh, periods on your answers. Escriba respuestas donde está de acuerdo con los siguientes anunciados. No coloque puntos en sus respuestas. Ya está colocado por usted. All right. So, dice, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy about French food. So, what will be the answer? Si ya lo contestaron, what will be the answer? So I, am I. Not, I am not either, either. I am not either. Either, either. Excuse either. Me. All right. Very good. Right now, my computer, my computadora, tiene, tiene un problemita con el apostrophe, right? So, solo lo voy a poner así, pero no le vamos a dar. I am not either. I am not either. All right. So, I can eat my kind of food. I can't eat my kind of food. All right, so what will be the answer? ¿Quiénes han hecho este ejercicio hasta la fecha? Tenme esto. I can too, teacher. I, I can, can too. too. 
I can too. I can too. Okay. I can too. Very good. Excellent. All right. Without so what? What about? It's positive. It's positive. Without T at the end of can. Without oh, I can. I'm sorry. My bad. Thank you. All right, can too. All right, so I think Mexican food is delicious. What would be the answer? So do I. I do. I do. I think I Mexican do. food do. is. Okay, hold on. Okay, what what would be the answer? So do I. I so do I. So do I. Okay, I can't stand greasy food. I can't stand greasy food. No entiendo la comida grasosa. Neither can I. Neither can I. Me neither or no, neither. neither can I. Neither. Okay. Neither. I can neither. neither can I. All right. Okay. That's what I like. Okay. I don't like so, uh, salty food. What would be the answer? Neither do I. Neither do I. Acuérdese de que esta, esta información es la que usted va a utilizar en sus conversaciones, ¿verdad? Remember, this is not just a, I mean, un, pasa, un pasatiempo que tenemos ahora y porque ya viene la Navidad y bla, bla, bla. ¿Verdad que no? Eso es para que usted lo aplique. All right. So, I am in the mood, I am, I am in the mood for something spicy. What would be the answer? Mm, so am I. I. So no, no, no. am I. I. So am I. Oops, sorry. Okay. I am crazy about Korean food. And two. I am two. Two. Okay. I am two. All right, and. I don't enjoy fast food very much. Neither do I. Neither do I, all right? And I always eat healthy food. So do I. So do I. So do I. And I can't eat seed food. Neither can, can I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Excellent. All right. So I'm aquí mal y todo malo, verdad? Porque estoy, este, actually, tengo ahí unas buenas y unas malas, verdad? Pero vamos a ver. Okay. Este creo que es así. I I I am coma tú. Oh, uh, y... No, así está bien. Así está bien. Uh, I am I am not yes, I'm. I see. Yes, I am. Um, okay. I see. I'm yes. not either. No, I is I am pero abrevi abreviado. Okay. I'm. Mostra fe, pero no le sirve a usted, teacher. No, no me sirve. No. Sí. Bueno, sí dejémoslo, no se preocupe. All right, excellent, excellent guys. Very good, very good. All right, let's see. Faltaba uno. All right, let me read this uh, objective real quick and in this class, participants will will practice pronunciation, noticing, stress, and responses. They will also learn to sound natural when responding with so to, neither and either. Ya lo leímos esto anteriormente. Vamos a ver. Let's repeat pronunciation. 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 No me diga pronunciation, no. Pronunciation, no. All right. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Very good, very good, very good. Y no me estoy mofando, no me estoy mofando. Right? Pronunciation, all right? So, pronunciation. All right? Very good, very good. Es como, uh, let me make a short, a short uh, parenthesis, right? Uh, a friend of mine, right, in the United States, they asked him, we were talking like uh, five people, right? It was, I mean, I, I was, I, it was me, it was my, my brother, 
my other two brothers and some other uh, some other girls, and it was uh, one American girl there, all right? And they asked to one of my friends, hey, do you speak English? ¿Y qué le dijo el muchacho? Que no, no sabía, porque acababa de llegar allá de aquí a El Salvador a Estados Unidos. Le dijo, regulation, le dijo. No, eso no es la respuesta, ¿verdad? Le dijo, regulation, no. O sea, tenemos esa costumbre nosotros de decir, uh, así, hecho, no. Entonces, es pronunciation, no pronunciation, all right? Pronunciation, all right? So, si le preguntan a usted, do you speak English? No vaya a decir regulation, o do you speak English? No le va a decir regulation, no. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Sea honesto, ¿verdad? Bueno, miramos el video. Ese fue un short tip. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. All right, you may want to check in. Oh, no. Let's start over again. Hi, nice to see you again. In this class, we will practice pronunciation, noticing stress in responses. We will learn to sound natural when responding with so, to, neither, and either. Notice how the last word of each response is stressed. All right, so, ¿se da cuenta dónde está la chibolita? ¿Dónde está ese el stress? That means that on that particular letter or, or consonant, it's where you you are going to sound a little stronger, right? So cuando dice, I do too, ¿verdad? Perdón si grité, perdón. A veces ya me va el, el tono de volumen. Dice, so o sea, do I. En, uh -huh. en donde está la, como el, el, el circulito ese es en donde llega como la mayor fuerza de voz, por decirlo donde así. Donde va la mayor fuerza de voz. Yes, sir. Ok, ese es el stress. All right, so ponga atención y escuche y se va a, va a dar cuenta que sí, así es. Bueno. Right. I do too. I am too. I can too. So do I. So am I. So can I. I don't either. I'm not either. I can't either. Neither do I. Neither am I. Neither can I. All right, so. Okay. Do you have any questions so far about the stress? Este es un tema bien extenso. Déjeme decirle. Extenso en lo que hay que explicarlo. Es, yo se lo puedo explicar en una hora para que usted lo, lo, ¿cómo se lo dijera bien, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita es como un, solamente un pared, un, es como un, ¿cómo se dice? Entre, un, entre comillas, un semicolon, right? So, que va a tener usted en su hard disk. Pero ya tiene la idea que es el stress, right? Cuando le pregunten, where you will apply the stress. No le voy a decir, si yo estrés no tengo, le va a decir usted, ¿verdad? No, estamos hablando del estrés gramatical. Entonces usted le dice, ah, que nos explicaron que esto es así, donde lleva la fuerza, ¿verdad? Si vamos, si usted dice, it's a very exciting place. ¿A dónde llevaría el estrés? Eh, por ejemplo, en la palabra exciting. ¿Dónde llevaría el estrés? Exciting. ¿En qué, en, qué, ¿En qué consonante Exacto. llevaría el estrés? Exciting. Exa, exa. Exciting, exa. right? Exciting. Exciting. What about place? Exa. Place. En la play, en la play, right? En la play. Place. Y así sucesivamente usted va a ir agarrando estos tips, all right? So, pero esto no se preocupe. Esto lo va a ir a, a, eh, acumulando step by step. No worries. Be happy, okay? So, este, esta lesión, esta lesión objective ya lo leímos, lo voy a leer nuevamente. In this session, in this session, a conversation will be played 
where a waiter and a, and a customer use modal verbs such as uh, will and will for requests. Okay, let's see. All right, let's repeat uh, ordering a meal. Ordering a meal. All right, one more time. Ordering a meal. Ordering a meal. Ordering a meal. Hello, everyone. I want you to pay attention to the following conversation. We will now listen to the modal verbs would and will. As always, try to practice the conversation with a friend. Listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? All right. So let's uh, double check this part over here, right? So it says conversation. Let's repeat conversation. 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 Order, 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 all right, so, si usted se fija, por fe, ¿verdad? Nuevamente, todos vamos a viajar, ¿verdad? Todos vamos a, vamos a dar una vuelta allá por el norte y vamos a regresar, pero vamos a ir a hablar inglés del bueno, el que aprendimos acá en nuestra academia, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, usted va a decir, así va a llegar, mira, así como está ese muchacho, ¿verdad? Con un gran frío, con gorrito, y le va a decir, le van a decir, may I take you order? Let's repeat everybody, may I take you order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. Yes, yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right, and I will. All right, and I will like a salad. All right, and I would like a salad. One more time. Escuchemos como dice el waiter. All right. And would you like a salad? All right. All right. Would you like a salad? Viene el customer y dice, yes, I will have a mixed green salad. Yes. Yes. I will have a mixed green salad. Okay. El waiter. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? Okay. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? Acuérdese, acuérdese, mi estimado y mi estimada, que cuando le digan dressing, le están hablando de aderezos, ¿verdad? Y ahí tiene que estar usted lista, ¿verdad? Listo. Al momento que usted esté pidiendo la, la orden y, y quiera, este, mostrarle ahí a la tía y al tío que habla inglés usted, ¿verdad? Y que lo aprendió aquí en El Salvador. Y le van a decir, what, what, what kind of dressing would you like to, to have? Or what, what kind of dressing would you like? Usted de una le tiene que decir, oh, blue cheese, Italian dressing, ranch dressing, vinaigrette, eh, and on and on and on, right? Ya no me acuerdo de los demás, ¿verdad? Pero tiene que saber que un dressing es... Aderezo. Aderezo, aderezo, aderezo. Very good, very good. Lamb kebabs, teacher. Los uh, lamb kebabs son como este, como que fueran las tiritas. Tiritas de cordero. Ajá, tiritas de cordero. cordero. Uh -huh. Ajá, puede que también le digan chicken kebabs. Pues ahí va a haber un platillo este así, pero son así como tiras de, 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 de pollo también, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. lamb kebabs son tiritas de, de, de cordero, como dijo el compañero ahí. Thank you. Dice... Okay, let's repeat. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Let's repeat. We blue have blue cheese, blue cheese and vinaigrette. vinaigrette. We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. Blue, blue, cheese, cheese. blue cheese, please. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? 
And you like you like it? Would you like, like it? Did you to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Yes, yes I, I like, like a large, large iced tea. Please. Okay, so just let me tell you something. Hold on, let me let me stop the esa 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 huellita que tenemos por ahí. No se preocupe. All right. Let me tell, let me give you another advice, no, another tip. All right, so, cuando usted viaje o cuando usted esté hablando con alguien, así, cuando ya esté en el live uh, spot, podríamos decirlo así, en el lugar ya donde está para, donde va a hablar inglés, a veces por lógicas, ¿verdad? Uy, nos está diciendo, nos está tratando mal, dice, no, 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 no lo estoy tratando mal. Por lógicas uno a veces entiende, ¿verdad? A veces a uno le hacen, o por gestures, los gestures son lo que a veces uno hace, ¿verdad? Porque, por ejemplo, vaya, yo ando, este, no, mi persona, no yo. Mi persona anda unos lentes, ando los viejitos, pero ahora los nuevos se me quebraron ahora. Tengo que mandarlos a arreglar la patita. Entonces, usted está viendo que yo me estoy quitando y me estoy poniendo los lentes, ¿verdad? Pero yo no, yo no me estoy tomando un vaso de agua, ¿correcto? ¿Verdad? ¿Verdad que no? Entonces, I am talking about my glasses. That my first pair I broke one of the the tails that we have here you know is 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 broken it's not working so i need to go and fix them all right so but i'm talking about my glasses all right so y usted dice una persona que no sepa nada de inglés dice este señor está, está hablando de lentes entonces yo le digo por lógica o por gestures si usted va a un restaurante acuérdese que ni aquí en El Salvador, bueno, nosotros comemos, nos tomamos, nos comemos unas, unas cinco pupusas y queremos tener la horchata a la par, ¿sí o no? O el chocolate en la mañana, chocolate caliente, o el cafecito. Entonces, usted se queda así, no me, no, me, no, no me preguntó si voy a tomar algo, dice usted. Y viene usted todavía de, de, de bonito, o de bonito, y le dice, y mire, y tiene algo de tomar, ¿verdad? Que así ya somos nosotros, bien, bien bonitos somos, ¿verdad? Entonces... The same thing would be in English, right? So if you go to one of those places and you request a sandwich, believe it or not, this guy, the, the, the waiter, el, el mesero, the waiter is going to ask you for anything, anything to drink. No más tú, usted escuche, drink. Ah, este maestro me está diciendo que sí voy a tomar algo. Y usted le dice, yes, yes, yes. Le dice, what would you like to drink? I would like, to... y usted mira toda, todos los, ¿verdad? No le voy a decir, quiero una horchata, una cebada o agua, agua carao. No, tampoco, no. Usted vaya en Estados Unidos, va a ver, o sea, va a ver, si va a un lugar de prestigio, va a ver, tal vez, una Coca-Cola, va a ver una Sprite, va a ver una Mountain, Mountain, Mountain View, así se llaman esas, esas sodas. Y usted le dice, ah, I want that one. Okay, large or small? Large, please. Very good. Y ya se va tranquilo, okay? So, lo que yo quiero que entienda, mi estimado, mi estimada, es de que aquí estamos aplicando el will. Si usted se fija, el, el mesero con el waiter, perdón, el, el mesero con el customer, el waiter con el customer, they are talking very nice, right? They are talking polite. ¿Verdad? Le dice, may I take you order? ¿Podría tomarte la orden? Sí, me gustaría unas tiritas de cordero. All right. And would you like a salad? O sea, le vio, o sea, como lo mira como, 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 una, como es chinito, ¿verdad? Usted sabe que los chinitos, o sea, más que todo, la gente eh, asiática son bien, ¿cómo se llama? Comen bien healthy, bien sano. Saludable. Y rápido, saludable y rápido le dice, would you like a salad, le dice. Yes, le dice. Es ah, como una acción. I'm sorry. ¿Cómo me dijo? Uh, si le dice, would you like a salad, es como una opción, ¿no? Sí, o sea, es que es como que... Vaya, por decir, por decir, usted llega allá y el señor ya sabe que ustedes son del Salvador, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero el señor es un, es, un, es un gringo, es un nativo de allá, ¿verdad? Y le va a decir, hey, would you like some pupusas? Right? 
Yes, le va a decir usted. Yes, I would like to have six pupusas. Porque seis se comen, ¿verdad? Vamos bien sí. galanes, ¿no? Seis. Tres de queso, three cheese, uh, uh, three pupusas, cheese, and three uh, meat and pork. All right, so very good. Pero entonces son opciones, sí. Would you like a salad? Él dice, yes, I will, I have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? Entonces él dice, ¿qué tipo de aderezo te gustaría? Por eso, cuando usted esté hablando, acuérdese, 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 de que usted tiene que aplicar el will, el cool, el should, el will, el have, para todo lo que usted esté hablando. ¿Verdad? Porque si yo le digo, what is your big dream? What is your big dream? Y usted viene y me dice, oh, my big dream, it's, uh, well, I would like to travel. Ahí ya dice la primera, ¿verdad? Me gustaría viajar. I would like to travel around the world. I would like to, to learn to speak English uh, fluently. Pero siempre, will, me gustaría. Ya, si usted lo quiere decir, yo quiero, ya lo dice usted, I want to travel. I want to learn to speak English, right? Pero lo dice usted con otro tono, all right? Very good. Give me one second. Vamos a pasar a otro temita por aquí. Vamos a ver. All right, let's see. Jenny Marisol, please read this for me. Okay. In this session, the use of the modal verb or and will for request will be taught. Oh, right. Yes. Very good, very good, very good, very good. All right. All right. So first, let me go ahead. This one would be a different. Give me one second. All right. All right, so just a moment. All right, let's see. Victim, a volunteer. Who's going to be my guest first? Okay, let's see. ¿Qué va a ser mi voluntario primero? All right. Solo uno, solo uno. Iris and Gabriel, please go ahead. Gabriel, Jeff, Iris, uh, Bob, go, go ahead. Hmm. I don't see. No. La conversación. The conversation. Show the conversation, please. Sure. Pero, uy, mire, mire, mire cómo me, ¿quién me acaba de decir eso. Dios mío, ya, no, ya lo voy a regañar porque quiero ver quién me dijo eso. Vamos Show the conversation, please. ¿Quién dijo? Gabriel. <laughs> Gabriel, you need to be polite. What will be, <laughs> what will be, what will be the, the right way? Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. What would be the right way to tell me what you just mentioned? ¿Cuál sería lo, la mejor manera lo que usted me acaba de mencionar? Cool. Ajá. Uh -huh. cool. cool. Share the, the presentation. Uh -huh. Cool or who? show the... Cool who? Cool you. Cool, so... cool you. Uh -huh. Cool you. Could you please show the presentation, Mr. Escamilla? Sure. Of course. I could show that presentation right now, Gabriel. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah. All right. Could you, could Pero you si the presentation, please. Sure, sure, very good, very good. Se dio cuenta, verdad que es diferente cuando yes. le dicen. Pero usted me dijo, show the presentation, please. Dios mío, con. <laughs> Él iba a ser yo. Él iba a ser. Verdad. All right. Command. Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Give me one second. My pleasure, guys. My pleasure. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding this part, okay? Gabriel and Iris, be my guests, please, okay? Gabriel, Jeff, Iris. Bob, go okay. ahead. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. 
Yeah, I'm not either. I guess it it's a bit spicy. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Iroha. Iroha, yeah, okay. Oh, I always want to go there. Perfect. Let's go. Very good, very good. Excellent. Thank Patricia you, Alfaro. Patricia Alfaro and uh Joao, please. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you do? What do you think of Indian food? I love it food. I want to feel it. My own for this today. Yeah, and not either. I guess it's a bit spicy. Mm, what do you do Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do to go to Japanese restaurant near here, Kayet Aroha. Oh, uh, always want to go there. I'm terrible, Thank you. All right, very good, very good, very good. All right, Susie and Thomas, go ahead, be my guest. Let's go. Susie and Thomas. Uh, say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Yeah. I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Um, how do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do. I do too. Um, I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aro Airoha. Oh, I always wanted to go there. Terrible. Let's go. All right, let's repeat it. Very good. Let's repeat everybody. Terrific. 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 Ah, okay, Terrific. so what it that means es como cuando le pregunten también, ¿verdad? How were you today? How were you tonight? How were you this afternoon? How you doing today, Iris? Usted dice terrific. Terrific. No terrificada, ¿verdad? No terrificada, sino que terrific means nice. Very, very nice. I mean, estoy buena onda, buena onda, buena onda. Terrific. All right. Very nice, very nice. All right. So, ese vocabulario en bien nativo. Okay. So, now I just want to. I think. Mm -hmm. What? I think terrible. Pensé que era como terrible. No, no, no. no. Es como cuando nosotros decimos brutal. Démosle, hagámoslo. Ajá. Así, brutal. O sea, que chévere, ¿verdad? Chévere, chéverísimo. Very good, very good. All right, so let's see. Anybody else want to participate before we go to bed? All right, let me go ahead and double check some information real quick. Just a moment. Let me close this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Just a moment. Oops. Okay, one second. All right, give me one second. The, I'm going to pass this right now, okay? Give me just a moment. All right, just say hello. I'm here, present, and that's it, okay? So let me pass this real quick. And...
Okay, well. All right, mis queridos y queridos estudiantes. Okay, Abimael Octavino Ramirez Lopez. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Aleida Arely Garcia Martinez. Aleida Arely. Excellent. Amalia Beatriz Toward de Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Diego Francisco Aguilera Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Elizabeth, or Elizabeth Enriqueta Rivera de Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Armando Garcia Florentino. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Isaac Guevara Paredes. I'm here. Thank you. Henry Alejandro Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Iris Vanessa Cuellar Batres. Iris Vanessa Cuellar Batres. I know you there. Here. Okay. Isaac, thank you. Isaac Adonai Tawar. Isaac Adonai Tovar. Or oh, Isaac Adonai Tovar. Okay. Jessica Alex Jessica Alexandra Melendez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Joao Mauricio Vialta Sorto. Your teacher. Thank you. Jose Herminio Ramirez Umaña. Present. Thank you. Jose Heriberto Durán Prado. Present. Thank you. Juana v uh, Ines Velasquez Carranza. Present teacher. Excuse me. Uh, Laura, uh, thank you. Laura Virginia Castillo Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Linda Hazel Fern, uh, Fernandez. Present. Thank you. Maria del Carmen Guzman Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Miriam Darlene Escobar Serrón. Present. Miriam Maricela Escobar Serrón. Present. Thank you, Mirna Griselda Mejia Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you, Orquidia Esmeralda Escobar Portillo. Present teacher. Patricia, thank you, Patricia Carmen Alfaro de Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose, uh, Rosa Esperanza Pleites Martinez. Present. Thank you, Roxana Jasmine Cedillo Lemus. Present. Thank you, Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano. Salvador Antonio Martinez Serrano, Sonia Griselda Pinti de Menjiver. I'm here, coach. Thank you, Susana Margarita Jaime Mejia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Tomás Antonio Gonzalez Escobar. I'm here, mister. Thank you. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you, guys. If I didn't mention anyone, let me know, all right? So. All right, before we go, let me just show you something else. Give me five more minutes, okay? I know that you want to go home. I mean, you are in your house, but I know that you want to go to bed, right? All right, can you see this? Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, I'm going, yes. To, I'm going to show you this um, PPT or PowerPoint presentation real quick, okay? So let's see, using model verbs, okay? So model verbs, uh, let's repeat, model verbs. 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 All right, let's, let's, let's repeat, uh, might, will. Might. Might, will. May, should. May, should. Cool, will. Out must. Out, out must. must. Shall can. Shall can. can. All right, in this class, just allow me to tell you that we're supposed to be checking will and will. But I'd like to show you more model verbs because you will need them, all right? So, okay, let's see. All right. Invert, inverting, inverting model verbs. Model verbs make questions by inversion. All right, she can go out. Can she go out? Repeat, she can go out. She can go out. Can she go out? Can she go out? Can she go out? We could drive there. We can drive there. Could we drive there? Could we drive there? Children should eat fruit. Should children eat fruit? Should children eat fruit? 
All right, possibility. Possibility. All right, model verbs can be used to show how possible something is or how likely it is ha to happen or have happened. All right, so let's see. Let's repeat. He, I mean, he is very late. He could have missed the train. It is snowing, so it must be very cold outside. It is snowing, so it must be very cold outside. They will lock the windows when they go out. They will lock the windows when they go out. Just remember, guys. Remember, guys, that we need to we need to know and we need to comprehend or understand in a better way how and when we are going to apply the modal verbs. All right, porque este es en la parte de posibilidades. Dice, él está bien tarde. Podría que él pierda el tren. Puede que él pierda el tren, verdad? Puede que no tome el tren, verdad? Él ya va, ya va bien tarde. He's very late. He could have missed the train. Él tal vez no pueda tomar el tren, ¿verdad? Y la otra es, it is snowing, so it, it is no, it is snowing, so it must be very cold outside. Está nevando, de podría que esté, no, dice, está nevando, de podría estar bien helado allá afuera, ¿verdad? Entonces dice, they will lock the windows when they go out. Ellos van a cerrar las ventanas cuando vayan afuera. All right. Posibilidad, acuérdese. Vamos a ver. Possibility again. All right. So we have uh, some other verbs. Uh, it says mom might take, might take us swimming after school. All right. So let's repeat. Mom might mom. take us. Mom take us. Swimming after school. school. Swimming after school. You could eat a banana instead of those sweets. You could eat a banana instead of those sweets. Hurry up, we will be late, said Dad. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We can go the other way, it's quicker. We, we can go all the way. 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 You ought to go to bed earlier. You ought to go to bed earlier. All right, tenemos las últimas acá, que es choose a model verb. Eh, usted puede verificar acá, you must be hot in the thick coat, all right? So, es para esto para practicar. All right, so quiero que lo tomen como una actividad o más que todo a practicarlo every single day, okay, guys? All right, so se los comparto porque no es para que lo tenga de adorno. Quiero que lo esté utilizando every single time. All right, so, so, mm, ¿qué le puedo decir? We need more time, right? We need more time in order to complete our classes. However, uh, I will see you tomorrow. All right, I believe, I believe tomorrow is the last class, right? So we I will see you till Monday, right? Hoy es, ¿qué día es hoy? Today it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Wednesday. And tomorrow is, is going to be Thursday, all right? So Thursday. Okay. See? It's supposed to be. Yes. It's supposed to be uh, all Friday. All Friday? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Me, me han dicho que era de solo de lunes a de lunes a. And the, last, and, and the last message says that... Uh, the two last week, Friday too. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. I'll be here. Not a problem. If we have to work, we have to work. Okay. So, do you have and any question? Last, any questions so far, guys? Everything no is. Question. It's clear. Mm -hmm. Jenny, <laughs> Susie, Patricia, Miriam, Laura, Elizabeth, uh, Mauricio, Amalia, Maria, Jose, Thomas, Iris. Everything is clear. Juana, everything is clear. Yes. Yes. Okay, remember, remember, guys, never give up, all right? So keep studying, and I see you tomorrow, all right? God's will. Take it easy, guys.
Have a good okay. night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Very good. Good night, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night.